Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCDO video, and today guys, we're going to be looking at Pissimian Zoark, a deck that I've built here on PDCGO, and it's a very cool deck, and it's not just your normal, standard Pissimian deck. I think this deck has a lot more layers to it, which is what I kind of like about it. There's a bit of an engine to this deck that Pissimian never really used before, and we'll talk about that in a moment. So let's get into the deck. Um, your main Pokemon, obviously, is Pissimian. He's kind of the lead dude. Team play is a very strong attack. Um, now, unfortunately, you can't really do the maximum damage with Pissimian. You'd have to have a Mew in the active and four Pissimians on your bench, which, you know, isn't bad either. Even if it's just three Pissimians, you're still doing a fair amount of damage. You're still at least hitting for, like, a good amount. I mean, if you think about it, one Pissimian on your bench is 40, two Pissimians, 70, three 100, choice band 130. Pretty decent damage output. You're two-shotting most Pokemon, and you're also dealing good damage. Most importantly, though, you're going to be one-shotting... Zoark GX. Now, Zoark is a very big threat. We already know Ghost Spot Zoark right now is pretty popular. It's a deck that I run, run into way too much on this game. So I was like, dude, I need to make a deck to counter that deck. Because that deck is driving me nuts. So, uh, Pissimian can counter it pretty well. Because Zoark is kind of their main dude. Galissapod, we don't really have a good way to deal with that. Um, unless they have a full bench, you can mind jack them with a choice band. And a Professor Kiwi? Maybe? But, I mean, it's not hard to pull off. Um, but, whatever. That's not the focus of the deck. Okay, the focus is Pissimian. Um, Pissimian could just be a good attacker in general. It could do good damage output. It's a non -EX attacker. It does rely on DC, but, you know what? It's not a big issue, because we have cards like Puzzle of Time in the format, Special Charge in the format, and we even got a new energy called Counter Energy, so it shouldn't be too hard to keep the energy on Pissimian, in all honesty, especially with this, the engine in this deck that I have built. So, yeah. Now, Mew's a good partner for Pissimian. You can copy Pissimian's attack, and you can actually use this as a way to knock out stuff like Necrozmas and Espeons. So, Mew can act as a really good backup attacker. It's a free retreater, too, so it's a good starter. Um, again, it's also not a Pissimian, so your Pissimian won't get knocked out. Mew will get knocked out, which is sometimes better, and sometimes you just need that extra type -y. 50 HP, however, is not the greatest, especially when you're up against something like Ninetales, or even Decidueye, which could just snipe you at some point. Now, the second Pokemon in this deck is Zoark GX. The big daddy of the deck is Zoark. And this is kind of the way Pissimian is going to work for us. So we have the ability trade, which once you're in turn before you attack, you may discard a card from your hand. If you do, you get to draw two cards. So Zoark has a very, very powerful ability. And we've already seen it work. And you know what? Zoark is going to be insanely nuts with Pissimian because we're going to combo Zoark's ability with Mallow. Um, actually, you know, thinking about it, I probably should maybe add a third Zoark, considering, I mean, I built this deck before, uh, London, so maybe it is better to play th three Zoark GX. I'm not going to take out the stand-in Zoark. I think three Zoark might be good, but I'm thinking now, I'm, I'm thinking of just taking out the E-Hammer and just throwing in, like, a third Zoark GX, which I think, you know what, let's screw it. Let's just do it. Bye, E-Hammer. You served a good cause. I think, I don't know, like, thinking about it, the fact that, um, that list played four, it might be better to just bump it up to three, just for maximum consistency. So, screw it, we're gonna run three Zoarks, I know it's, whatever. I mean, we have the three stretchers, we got the puzzles, it shouldn't be too bad, but I'm gonna run three because you wanna make sure Zoarks in your hand, so screw it, guys, we're breaking the rules a little bit, we're gonna change up the deck just by a tower, we're gonna take out E-Hammer, which is a bit of a big card to remove, uh, maybe I could remove something else, I don't know. So, yeah. Going back, the gist of it is, of course, use Zoark's trade, and we're going to combo with Mallow. Now, one thing Pissimian struggles with is getting double color synergy. Since you only run that many, you only run four energies, five with counter. You don't even need counter energy, but it's kind of cool to have. Maybe you can counter energy and use it with Trickster GX. That could be a cool combo. So, I'm going to keep the counter energy in this deck just for the sake of maybe needing it. If I don't end up using that much, I can probably recommend taking it out and maybe throwing in, like... I don't know, a fourth Zoro wouldn't be bad either, in all honesty. Um, so yeah, we're going to be using Pissimian, and again, with the problem with Pissimian, though, it's always struggling to find energy. A lot of lists have played, like, stuff like Strong Energies and DCEs, but it doesn't work, in my opinion. Pissimian will always be KO'd in one hit. Zoark takes it out, Glispot takes it out, Volcanian takes it out, Garboder can easily take it out because it's weak to Psychic, Silvalli so one-shots it. This card is not going to take a hit, so you have to be able to keep stringing energy in play, and the way we're going to do that, folks, is with four copies of Mallow. Mallow is going to be the golden of this deck. Without Mallow, this deck would suck. 
in my opinion. With Mallow, we're able to just grab two cards. That card can be a Stretcher and a DCE, right? So this is our way of getting our DCs flowing. We have four copies of Mallow. It's the meat of the deck. Town Map's also here to help with DC Conservatives because DC might be prized. You could play Gladian in this deck, but again, with the Mallow engine and there's way better supporters, you're probably going to end up playing anyways. Town Map will be our lead supporter. Or not supporter, but that can I say. It's going to take over Gladian's spot. Gladian's good in this deck. I don't mind it, especially if it was Simeon's prize, but I'd rather just play the Town Map in all honesty. Like, if you can get a quick KO with, like, Simeon on, like, a Zoroark or something, you can just get your two prizes and hey, look at that we had a, our third Basimian prize and oh hey look our DC was prize there you go so I think town map is a way better replacement in this deck than Gladian because it, it, it makes you not mallow that turn which is kind of bad um we just play one copy of Lele the only reason we play one Lele is again this is a deck you can't really have a bench of random Pokemon and Basimian Basimians need to be on your bench you need to at least have three on your bench for this deck to work so we have to play just one Lele in this deck unfortunately um it makes this more of a budget-friendly deck. No, no, I'm just kidding. It doesn't make a budget. We have Zorks. What am I saying? There's, it's not a budget deck. Um, but I mean, hey, if you can afford uh, three of these Zorks with the Fuller one. The Fuller one, I think, is cheaper because they're easier to get because you can just buy it and then you automatically have a Zork. So yeah, we're just running one Tapu Lele. There's nothing else I would recommend in this deck. There's literally nothing. The only other Pokemon I'd add is maybe a fourth Zarua. But we can easily get and play with Nest Ball and Bridget and Ultra Ball. And we go to the items, the big cards of the deck. We got one Field Blower. This pains me to only have one in the deck, because if you play against Garbodor, you kind of are screwed. But Garbodor is beatable thanks to Riach's Beating and Guzma. We do play four Guzmas, so we can easily Riach's Beating, just take out Garbotoxin. It's not a big issue, in my opinion. I think we can deal with Garbotoxin fairly well with this deck. With Puzzle of Time, Field Blower is easy to get back anyways. I'm fine with just playing one. We do play three copies of Nest Ball. Nest Ball is great to get Passimian on your bench and also Zarua's. Four Puzzles. Puzzle of Time is amazing in here because it allows you to get two cards back. You can get back Mallow, DCE, Choice Band, another Passimian, whatever you need. Um, Puzzle of Time is our best friend here. We do play three copies of Rescue Stretcher to be able to get back our Passimians because they get knocked out. You got to get them back somehow. Two Special Charge. Pardon me, Special Charge is here, of course, to get our DCs back since the only energy we play other than Counter Energy. One Town Map, we already went over why that's in the deck. Four Ultra Balls, to grab what you need. We do play one, just one Brookwood Hill. I like having just one Counter Stadium in here, just in case. Um, especially if you're playing against Gardevoir, Sylveon, and they might Parallel City you. I like having a, just one Stadium in here is fine. It helps your deck out because it lets you search out Passimian automatically. I was considering Potown, because then your Passimian is doing better numbers, but it's kind of useless unless you have a full Passimian bench and you tag it with Mew. So we're just going to play one Brooklet Hill. Helps you with getting Passimians in play. Sometimes you want a Nest Ball for Zorua and not Passimian. Uh, we do play one Bridget in here. Bridget turn one is great in here. It's not easy to pull off because we only have two ways to do it, but it's still good to have. Turn one Bridget's amazing. We do play one copy of Ace Rolla. Ace Rolla is kind of here in case we do end up using Zorark as an attacker. Um, we do play four copies of Guzma, and I'm going all in with Guzma here. Because Zork is something that will sit on the bench, and that's something you can just Guzma up and then knock out with Passimian. So we're playing four Guzmas in here, just so we can just take out any Zorks or Drampas or whatever else is on the bench. For Mallow, this is our main engine of the deck. We do play three ends, um, just for draw support. Again, it's fine to play three ends, because your opponent will be knocking out quite a bit. One Professor Kikui. I like this card, because maybe you can do it with Zork, both Zorks, because, again... With Mind Jack, Full Bench, Choice Band, you technically are doing a lot of damage, but with a Kikui, you are going to be one-shotting Galissapods. Or you can do with Zoark GX and do 170 with a Full Bench Choice Band. So, I like it. Because we do play four Choice Bands, so we have maximum consistency. Um, three, two, just two Sycamores. Again, Draw Sport's okay with this deck. Once you get a Zoark online and with the Mallow combo, it's fine. Four Choice Bands, again, it's for maximum damage. The only other card I would consider putting in here, other than Choice Band for another tool would probably be fighting for your belt. I kind of like this card in this deck because having the Simeon with 150 HP is nice, but there are so many people running multiple field blowers. It's not even just two field blowers as a standard. Their decks right now playing like three to four field blowers. Field blower is way too popular right now to rely on fighting fury belt as your main tool. And that's why I do not run it in here. We do play one float. Just good for Zoark. One counter energy. Again, it can always come in handy with Trickster, or we can use it with Team Play. And we do play four double colorless energy. 
pretty lit deck, I know, it's my favorite deck in the format cap, but no, I'm just kidding. Um, so yeah, that's all the energy, that's our deck here. Again, the only other thing I would add to this deck would probably be a Force Zorua, just so you can at least know you're going to get a better chance of starting with it. It does decrease the odds of starting with what you want to start with, which is usually Mew or Passimian. But again, with three Rescue Stretchers, four Puzzle of Times, yeah, getting Zorua back in play is not the hardest thing in the world to do. I would consider maybe running the fourth Zorua. I think it's fine. The three Stretchers and four Puzzles, I think, just makes up for that completely. Um, but yeah, this is my Simeon Zorak GX deck. Let's try it on PC Joe. Hope to kick some butt against Zorak decks. I'll see you guys in just a moment. Alright guys, let's get some matches with our deck here. Unfortunately, I had a game going against Volk, and then the game disconnected me, because my internet is a pile of steaming dog poop. And yeah, we're gonna get another game. Looks like we're gonna be up against... I wanna say Garb, but it could be... It could be Raichu. I'd laugh if it was Raichu. That's basically an auto-win. Um, so let's go on the coin flip. We are gonna lose it, but we can maybe attack first, which is one of the things with the Simeon that I guess is okay, being able to attack first. Speaking of which, we actually do find a decent start here, which I'm happy about. Hopefully we don't see any more internet issues, because it is really getting on my nerves. Like, I, my internet is so bad, I can't even play on my PS4. Like, I'm trying to play Overwatch, you know, get some games in. It won't even let me do that half the time because my internet is so bad, it like constantly is just having me lagging it. Oh my god, I wanna... My, like my router's not even far away, it's like literally across the room. It's, it's across the hall. Like, I don't... My internet, man, oh my god. I need to get better internet or something. Because it is not having it recently. Looks like it is a garb deck, unfortunately. This matchup is kind of iffy. Um... Kind of. I don't want to say it's a bad matchup because if it's Trampa Garb, I think we have it because we have team play against Trampa. But we also have Mew, which can counter Espeon and Garb Odor to a degree. The only thing that could hold me back is potentially my Field Blower being prized. That would be pretty bad. We're going to see a turn on Bridget. Probably going to go for... Tramp. I don't mind him playing Po Town though. I mean, I don't like it being affected to my Zoark, but I actually don't mind it because it does kind of allow me to one shot his Garboders with the Simeon, which is kind of important, I think. Okay, Rainbow Energy in a pass. <laughs> Makes me wish I didn't take out Enhanced Hammer. Um, let's see what's prize. Okay, those aren't bad prizes. I actually kind of like them. I think we have to go for the end here. I don't like it, but we need to get another Pokemon down or we might lose next turn. We are going to find up a Simeon. Not no Nest Balls though, unfortunately. We don't really have a good hand either. I think we just team play him for 70 and hope for the best. I, he probably found a Floatstone DC though. I wouldn't be surprised if he did. If he did, I don't actually know if I can do anything next turn to win the game. I think we just kind of got unlucky off that end. We weren't able to get any other Pokemon in play. We are with a bit of a dead hand here. Especially with one Sycamore and two Ultra Balls being prized. Okay, he's attaching to Trubbish. Ace roll low. Okay, wall well, rip. He's actually not even... Oh, Acid Spray. Yeah, you got tails. I, I can never tell that's heads or tails, but I guess it's Pikachu's tail. Um, sure, I just don't really know if I want to draw it. We can end him here. And if we can get another Vesemi, we can knock out Trubbish, which I kind of want to do. Okay, we got him. Um, what do we get rid of, though? I think we got to get rid of Puzzle and Float. I could get rid of Special Charge, I guess. Yeah, he might end me. Who knows? I might as well. I don't like getting rid of that puzzle, but it's fine. I grab another Passimian. And I can do puzzle now, or I can hold it. And I think I'm going to hold it. Double puzzle is pretty important here, I think. So we'll just knock him out for 70, and uh, our prize will have to be Zorua. If he knocks me out... If he knocks me out here, which is probably going to happen, we might be in trouble, because I don't know if I can... Get the DC back. He's going to end me to 5, which is good. Now I'm glad I preserved the puzzle of time. Especially if we can get the double puzzle going. We'll be good. I need to get a Zorak GX online, though. But I do want to knock this thing out this turn. And, ooh. Okay, looks like we're actually going to be able to pull it off. And actually a pretty strong hand. Not really the triple puzzle. I don't know. If we can get a puzzle of time top deck, this hand is actually going to be kind of OP. 
Okay, Garbotoxin hit the field. Espeon. Okay, thank you for putting a free Mew prize on the field. Thank you. Um, and, oh, wow, he isn't knocking me out. That is embarrassing. <laughs> he isn't even KOing me. Oh, my God. I think I just hold this hand, then. I feel really bad that my opponent did not knock me out there. He can Lele me, I guess. What do I need here? I think we get Choice Band, because we have Ultra Ball. I'm probably not going to use Mind Jack this game. I can't believe he actually didn't knock me out. I guess that's what he gets for putting the Rainbow Jam Drampa. I, maybe he just hasn't found Po Town either, though. There's another Drampa, so maybe I should have grabbed Guzma? Probably should have. Oh, he's actually going to Guzma me, too. Okay, he's bringing out the Passimian. And it concede. Okay, well, cool. There we go. And uh, we are going to be able to win against Drampa Garb. I mean, that is one of our good matchups, too. Just, you have so many type coverage. Um, oh. Ooh, 375 coins. Let's go. I think I have enough to get two packs here, so we might as well do that. Oh, my God. They didn't register. I Dude, that glitch needs to... Okay, look, Pokemon devs, if you're watching this video, which I know probably some of you are, um, there's a glitch right now where... All right, guys, I got disconnected a few times, unfortunately, because my internet is terrible. So we are going to actually open up these packs because I got disconnected. It actually gave me a couple of coins. So we can actually buy a couple of Crimson Invasion packs. And, uh, yeah, that is a glitch with this game. So if any devs are watching this video, which, you know, you never know, they might be. There is a glitch where you you don't get your coins right away unless you log out. That happens to me sometimes. It's happened to me a few times already. So if any devs watch this video, there you go. Let's open up these packs. Probably not going to get anything. Crimson Invasion has not been treating me too well recently. Psychic Memory Hollow, I guess is okay. But anything else in this pack is kind of just not good. So let's uh, see if this pack is anything good. Anything would be great, like even a GX. Like, I don't even care if it's golden at this point. Let's see, come on, do we get anything? Nope. I mean, Gengar is cool, because I might make a Gengar deck in the future. Um, but everything else in that pack kind of sucks. That's why I do not open up my Crimson Invasion packs, because the pulls that I've been getting have been just not good. So let's get another match with our deck, and uh, just hopefully we don't get disconnected because of my bad internet. And, ooh, looks like we're up against another Garb deck. Which I'm fine with because if it's Drampa Garb or even just Garb in general with like Espeon, we do have some advantages here. So we'll see how this goes. I kind of wish I had the double field blower instead of just one. I don't know what I would take out though, you know. And uh, we are going to win the coin flip, which is... Yeah, that's fine, I guess, sure. We need to get Zoark online, right? So, might as well go first. Speaking of Zoark, it looks like the game wants us to start with him. So this is okay. Again, we can kind of just ride just beating him for now. And go from there. We'll see if it's Garb or not. Probably is. Probably is Garb. And yeah, it's Espeon Garb. Meaning we do have to use our Muse more than likely. Question is, are we going to lose next turn? Hmm. We start with Drampa, so I can grab... What I'm meaning, I think I'm gonna get rid of Guzma and I guess Rescue Stretcher, sure. And I can grab the Simeon and see if Bridget's in the deck. Okay, it is. Alright, we can actually just do Bridget here. Maybe I should have kept the Guzma then, but I can't attack him next turn. I don't know, if I had a DC, I probably wouldn't have done that. But uh, we'll do Bridget here and see if we can find anything good. And then next turn, we can get the Malo Zoark combo online, which is kind of nice. So our hand is pretty good for next turn. We'll grab Mew and double the Simeon. And we will pass. We do have a pretty good next turn. Hopefully we don't see anything crazy. We're going to see a Floatstone. My opponent looks like he doesn't want his ramp in the active, but he is going to big wheel... Which might force me to end him, which I think I gotta do. Depending on what I draw. Can we win next turn, actually? We do. Yeah, we have game. Right? As long as Floatstone's not prized, do we ha I wish I kept track of what was in the deck. <sighs> Whew. We're gonna devote this to this play. If not, we can at least swing him for 150, which is better than nothing. But if Floatstone is not in the deck, we unfortunately do not have game here. Okay, we're good. We got him. Got him. 
And yeah, we can just get rid of probably just counter energy. We're not gonna need that. But yeah, we do have win. Pretty quick win. Um, but this is why I like Zoark Mallow so much. It just works wonders against these type of decks. I mean, look at this. We got everything we need to just win the game on turn two with the Simeon. Thanks to Mallow Zoark. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And uh, yeah, look at that. We even got some good prizes. Another Mallow, another Pissimian. This is why this deck can work well against these type of matchups. Yeah, it looks like it was a pretty standard garb. He even played Toro, so we had a lot of ways to hit him for weakness here. So that's pretty good. I'm glad we're getting these matchups where we can actually hit him for weakness. And I'm not getting like matchups where like, you know, Pissimian. I don't know if this deck has any terrible matchups in all honesty. I don't know what this deck's worth. No one is online. Are you serious? There's like no one online. There's three people online. Are you... What? It's a Saturday afternoon and no one's online. I am very surprised that there's only three guys online. I mean, I say no one's online, obviously. I don't mean there's like literally nobody online. I mean like, you know what I mean, right? It's expression. I'll get up again the game match here. Game match. Game match. And set. I almost said... You know what I almost said. You probably heard what I said. Probably were thinking, did you actually just say that? No, no, no. It's taking a while to find a game, though. There's, like, nobody on Pokemon today? I don't know. In fact, there's only three friends online, and I have a full friends list. It's kind of weird. Um, looks like we're up against... Buzzwool? Zor? Another perfect matchup? Because Buzzwool's weak to Mew? Okay, cool. Uh, we're gonna lose the coin flip. This is fine. If we can turn one Donkum, I'm gonna be pretty happy. Ooh, the Mew start. Unfortunately, no DC, but we are... We don't have enough resources to actually get double the Simeon down. Maybe more. If he starts with Buzzwool, then we'll hit for weakness. It might be Buzz... It could be Zork like not too. I mean, either or is fine, because if it's main tagger Zor, it'd be my guest. DCE, okay, and what else do you got up your sleeve? Puzzle of Time. Okay. He might be playing one Buzzwool. If he puts it down, then I'll just, you know, be like, hey, I got Mew in the deck. Lycanroc could take out my Zoark, though. That's something that I'm a little concerned about. And a pass for my opponent. Okay, we drew Puzzle 2, rip. Everything is in the deck, though, which is kind of nice. Oh, I mean, we might as well. I'm not going to do... Yeah, that's fine. Let's just dump this hand. Yeah, I don't want to put Brooklyn Hill. I don't want to give him a free copy of... I don't want to give him a rock rough to put down for free. I guess we can do our own puzzle. Kind of sucks I got to lose that, though. And, alright, three cards that I don't know if I'm going to need next turn. I need to also find Zarua here. Maybe I should have Brigided, but, you know, whatever. Alright, we got a knockout. We do have another Zorua, too. So we'll get rid of Professor Kikui and Guzma, I think. Those are the cards I want to get rid of today. And we definitely need to get a Zorua online ASAP. And we'll hit him with the Simeon, and we'll see if he actually does knock me out next turn. He would need a full field, then his Orc GX DCE. It is a lot to ask for. We'll see if he hits it or not. Another Mallow rip. I was hoping for... A supporter, or maybe Zorark GX. I think they only have two in the deck. Can't remember. Cause there's Rock Ruff. He had it. He must have drawn it. Drew it. Drew. Draw it. Drew it. Rip my choice band. Choice bands are really important here because it's allowing us to knock him out successfully with the Simeon. He attached to that too. Oh wow, and a pass. It makes me wish I kept Guzma. Oh, we do have enough to be able to get the Zorark GX engine online. Um. Yeah. Oh no, they were all in the deck. Never mind, I was wrong. Now, what do I want a Mallow for? Is the question. I think. Because we're going to get rid of Mallow, I think a Sycamore wouldn't be bad. And. I guess, yeah, Third Pissimian wouldn't be bad either. Yeah, we'll get Sycamore and Pissimian here. So we're going to get rid of another Mallow. And yeah, I might as well just knock him out and just keep the pressure on him. If he does get Lycanroc, that would suck because we don't really have a way to hit it for weakness. He could even knock out Zoark here. Tapu Lele isn't bad. We've used a puzzle, so we'll see if he knocks me out. Another strong energy. Wild Kick, and that is game. Okay, well, that was a very um, fast match. Hopefully it lets me take this prize so I can get that Guardians Rising challenge out of the way. Well, 
this game, this deck's been working out pretty well for us. We've been getting some pretty quick matches in where, like, we just win so quickly. But again, that's kind of the nature with a deck like this. It is a aggressive deck, if you want to call it that. Um, it does have a lot of donk potential. Um, I think this was a pretty strong matchup because this main attacker Zoark. I know Lycanroc was in there, but it didn't look like he was doing well. He had a lot of options, too, with Ace Roll on Lycanroc, which could have been scary. He had Enhanced Hammers. So we did catch a pretty lucky break there. I think my trades go through. Nope. Still only three people online. I guess no one plays PDC Joe anymore, Captain. I'm just kidding. Um, looks like we're up against a Psychic and Colors deck. Another Garb deck? I am up for that. Surprised I haven't played against Glisspot Zoark, though, which is kind of the point of me playing this deck to a degree. But I'm not going to complain because I don't want to play against a deck ever again in my life because I kept playing against that in, like this past week. It's like, bruh. We are going to open up the Simeon. Double Puzzle is interesting, but unfortunately our hand is kind of dead otherwise, so... We, this game could be over on our second turn if we don't draw anything. Hopefully he ends me. He's gonna open the, Okay, he's playing Espeon Garb. We have Mew for a reason. But yeah, next turn it looks like we are not going to win the game. Ooh, DCE. And then, then ooh! If he doesn't get a bench Pokemon, we do have a pretty good chance of winning, potentially. Another Donk, I know. Crazy. Okay, that's not bad, actually. Okay, he's playing Trampa too. Poke down? Yes, be my guest. Please put that in play. Now I can knock you out with uh, Simeon. So we'll put Mew down. We'll put Zoro down. We'll Sycamore here. Gotta dump a few supporters, but other than that, I don't think it's too bad. We do find a knockout here. Yeah, that's fine. We can Mallow Zork next turn and get that DC back when he uh, tramples me. And probably knock him out next turn, too. So we'll knock out this Eevee. We'll take our prize. Mallow, perfect. Good prize. So yeah, next turn, we should be good. I can probably grab Puzzle at time, too, if he knocks me out. So we have a lot of options to get out of this. We can actually knock him out next turn. How many items have I played for this thing? None. I haven't done it. Okay, he can't even do any damage with Trash Lance. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to see an Ultra Ball getting rid of Double Bridget for Tapu Lele. He's probably going to end me to five. Or Sycamore. Probably Sycamore would be the better play. But the question is, is can he get rid of this DC? Again, if he does it, I can still do Mallow and go from there. Sycamore. Okay, so he's good, probably trying to look for a Floatstone and Energy. Or he's just trying to buy some time to build this thing up. But I don't know if that's really going to work. I kind of do want to knock out Garbotox. Or he can put it down right away. He could Floatstone it. Yeah, he's going to retreat it. Rip. Did he find an energy too? Oh man, that's not good. How did he get everything in one thing? Oh, enhanced hammer. Well, rip me. Now this thing is in play, and we desperately need to find our field blower. A big wheel. All right. Well, I guess I'm ending him here. Can't believe he actually got a hand that good. He got like everything. Enhanced hammer. Now I can't knock him out potentially. Bruh, that's not good, man. That's not nice. How dare you do this to me? Let's just check what we got. Chillin'. We do have our field blower. Do we have all our energies? Yeah, we do. Okay. Probably get rid of Sycamore, I guess. Sucks to get rid of it, but I need to get a Zork in play. I could have maybe even done Mind Jack, right? 130, nah. And my Mind Jack won't even knock him out. I guess we end him then. No DCE. And no real way to get out of this hand either. Hmm, that's not good. I need to thin up the deck, I guess. He probably has a knockout too. He definitely found energy. Dang it, bro. Garbo Toxin wasn't in play, we'd be in such a better spot right now. That really sucks. Another Poe Town coming down, that's fine. Glad I got my Zorark down when I did. Yep, there's energy. Oh man, that's not good. Ugh, <laughs> come on, game, don't do this to me today. If we can draw a DCE, that would be really good. Or even Field Blower. Field Blower would also be really, really good too. Alright, let's see what we draw. Bruh, are you see? <laughs> of course I draw lately. <sighs> well, I guess I gotta pass for now. This really sucks, man. 
I don't know why he put the choice band on Trubbish though, not Drampo, because he could do 180 to me. That's cool. I mean, if he puts another Pokemon down, we can maybe draw a DCE, and we can maybe not get Drampo that way. I mean, we can knock him up with Simeon too. But we haven't played that many items, so I'm not going to get knocked out by Trash Lanch, so maybe it's safer to do that. There's a Guzma on my Simeon. Not good, not good, not good, not good. I mean, if we draw a Field Blower, though, this gives us the option to get rid of this hand, which is kind of nice. We get a fresh hand here. No Pokemon going down, so my opponent's really being cautious here about this Drampa. Simeon goes down, so we need to find Stretcher. No, I don't need that. Oh my god, this Garboder is killing me right now, bruh. I can't do anything about it, and I'm not drawing very well. Oh, I really regret only having one field blower in this deck, I really do. I didn't think the situation would be an issue, though, because we can clear up Drampa, we can goose my Garboder with Zork or something. I can't really do anything. Like, I could bring a Zork GX to buy some time, but I might as well just keep making him take one prize for now. Not good. This is how this deck can get shut down, and this is, I guess, why I do want to play the other Field Blower. This is why the double Field Blower is good. Another Guzma. He just doesn't want my Pissimians to be in play, does he? Still have a our stretchers, though, but we need to draw something. Kind of regret getting rid of that other Sycamore now, because <laughs> we don't have any left. And without our abilities, we do lose the Mallow Draw Engine, so we're literally in draw mode unless we can find an end. He's just got everything right now. This is so annoying. Uh, well, I think I'm just going to go ahead and concede. I don't know if I can do anything at that point. Like, I can't let him take any more prizes. I, I don't think I can win. That's just annoying as heck. But that's what I get for playing one field blower in my list. That is what I get for only running one instead of having two in my deck. I didn't think that issue would pop up. Alright guys, let's get another match with our deck. Unfortunately guys, the game I got was just not having it. So I conceded. I don't want to show that match. I didn't like it. Mainly because I got really angry and I kind of raged. Another Garb Trampa deck. I mean, good thing I'm kind of playing an anti Garb Trampa deck. Now, hopefully, we don't kind of have the same issue where that field blower gets kind of lost. I think we go first. I think it's fine. And let's see what we are going to open with. We are going to mulligan. We're not really revealing what we're playing, though, which is a good thing. It's probably maybe thinking like Buzzwell Garb or Buzzwell. Buzzwell Zoark or something. We'll see if he is playing Drampa Garb. He probably is, though, knowing the types he's got. And before it's Tapu Koko. Okay. I mean, we have it out for next turn, but other than that, that's not really a great hand. Yeah, not really a great hand. Let's see what he's playing. Probably Garb Drampa. Oh, no. It's not. We do find Ultra Ball. Uh, but considering I don't, okay, not even weak to Psychic, right? Yeah, that's fine. We, what is this thing we do? Nothing. Well, the Simeon, it isn't, then? I mean, we might got to get him down anyways. I'm probably just going to hit him with Zork this match. My hand's decent enough. I think I just pass. I mean, might as well play this. Why not? Oh, okay, that's really good because now we don't have to Mallow for the DC, which is actually pretty strong. I think we just attack with Zork in this matchup. That's fine by me. Zork, you know, we haven't really attacked with it yet, so I guess it's a fine enough thing. We are going to get end. Unfortunately, we had a really good hand, but we can still get the same hand. Hopefully, we can get Zork to play. Mimikyu's not really an issue. He, they can't really copycat too much. Oh, uh, no, we don't get anything there we really need. I might have to even Mallow or something. That works, I guess. Not really, though. We're still doing 40 damage. Oh, man. It wouldn't be bad, actually, to maybe bring out Gengar and knock it out, but... Yeah, I can't really do that, can I? Shouldn't have put this down. Why did I do that? Why am I so bad? Alright, I guess we're just gonna Mallow for now. Probably grab N, and... Uh, we could even grab Bridget. Nah, we'll grab N. Bridget actually is fine by me. Sure, we'll grab Bridget instead. And... It doesn't really matter... Do we end a bridge? He has a massive hand. I think it's fine to grab Bridget though. Just because 
we can get another Zora down. I kind of regret putting down the Zor. I really regret doing that, now, but whatever. We can just hit him for 40. He can't do much damage to me anyways because of resistance, so we can settle on this. But this is fine. If you put more Pokemon down, we can still knock out Gengar pretty easily. Tapu Koko. I guess he can go into that and fly and flip me. Right, I'm glad he's not playing the other Haunter. That uh, confuses me. And he's going to end me? Okay, good. Good, 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 good. This is fine because we're going to get a better hand than what we got. Kind of sucks we burned a Mallow, though, but it's fine. And flying flip. Okay, I kind of do want to knock him out here. And... I don't think... I might as well get rid of the choice, but I don't even know if he's playing GXs. I think I try and knock him out. Maybe just go all in and just Lele here for Sycamore, which I think I'll do. I kind of do want to just Pissimian him and knock him out. Not Flying Flip I don't think is an issue, but it kind of does build up that Gengar, so... I think it is fine just to do Professor Sycamore here. And just try and find a knockout with Pissimian and DCE. Nice. Okay, we got him. Got him. I think, right? Is this a knockout? Actually, I don't know if it is. No, I think we're short. Oh, are you serious? Bruh. Hmm. Guess we swing with Mew. Sure. Yeah, we don't have a knockout. We're only doing... Literally only doing 80 damage. No way! Flist encounter by accident! No! No! God, why did I do that? I guess I'm going for Zoark. No, I didn't mean to press encounter. Oh my gosh, I clicked too quick there, and I accidentally clicked encounter instead of team play. Oh my god. Does it matter? Probably not, but it does to me. I mean, I guess I could just do Ace Rolla going to Zoark or something, which I guess I'll do. That kind of sucks. <laughs> Can't believe I did that. Rip me. I mean, I did have a dead hand, so I guess it's okay to do that, but I probably could have Ace Rolla the other Zoark there and maybe went into Lele and did that, but, you know. I mean, at least we have an out for next turn, which is good. Um, don't really need to do anything else, I guess, and just hit him here with this. That awkward moment when you ace roll a Pokemon with 50 HP. I don't think that's ever happened to me or anyone in this game, so that's kind of funny. And we have to put him down, because we're only doing 100. Unfortunately, we have to... We can do trade and get rid of Stretcher and try and find... Something for next turn, I guess. That's fine. I'm gonna keep the choice band in case he's playing a GX. We'll knock him out here, and then next turn we can do some of this thing. And we do get Puzzle of Time, which is pretty good. Um, because now that means we have double puzzle. Don't really need anything right now, so I guess we can save it. Ooh, Miss Magius, though. I guess... Okay, we're gonna definitely knock out this thing. Just... I mean... I don't know. Field Blower. Okay, we lost our stand-in now. This Magius is bad. Um, obviously, it has an attack, which makes it so that I cannot attach any tools or, well, I think, just special energy, maybe? I don't know. I know it has an attack that where I can't put any special energy on, so I cannot actually attach any energy this match. So we have to knock out that Miss Magius right now. Even though we have two energy in play, he could be playing Enhanced Hammer. Something needs to go ASAP. We got a Haunter, though, so I guess he's just Pain Amplifying. <sighs> I guess it walks into Gengar. I mean, I guess we can just sit and just knock it out, I guess. I kind of want to get Ace Rolla and bring out, bring back you. I think we'll wait. Um, I don't think he's playing GXs, so I guess it's safe to just trade off a Choice Band, which we don't need. Town Map? Okay, cool. We can take a peek at our discard. Um, that's not bad. And I guess we just knock him out so we don't have to deal with Gengar. And let's see what we get. I think I'm gonna grab Mallow or Pissimian? Grab Mallow. That's fine. We have a pretty strong hand. He could end me, of course. I do want to try an Ace Rolla this thing. So I think I'm gonna do that next turn. I'm gonna double puzzle for Ace Rolla. And then we lose our double puzzles, but that's fine. Either that or I do want to Guzma that out knock that thing out. Kind of annoyed about Gengar, though. To a degree, I want to just do to the active, also. Or maybe just bring him back and then put another Zorak GX in play. 
And he's going into Mischievous, which is cool. And a pass. Alright, well, I guess I'm just going to keep knocking out these Ghastlies then, so I don't have to deal with the uh, Gengar. I have such a big hand, though. <laughs> uh... I'm just going to ride just beating. I don't really want to get rid of anything quite yet. Maybe I should have gotten rid of a stretcher. It's fine, though. We'll get Sycamore. Just help the odds if he does end me to three here. We already have trade active, but you never know, right? So Sycamore will help us out. I don't know if we're going to need Passimian at this point anyways. Zoark is kind of just going to be the main attacker of this matchup. We can double puzzle for his roller, but he concedes. Well, there you go. I think I'll wrap up today's video. I think we showed off the deck pretty fairly. We got a lot of matchups where you can see Passimian and stuff can just wreck face. I need to get this challenge, I mean... I wouldn't mind getting another Lele, that would actually be amazing, so I think I'm going to try and grind for that challenge. Um, but yeah, uh, that'll probably wrap up today's video. Bit of a quick one, I know. Um, well, it wasn't quick, but I think we did show off the deck fairly well. I think I did a good job showing you guys how this deck can play. Like, it is a bit of a speedier deck. You are going to get these quick concedes sometimes, especially if you're playing against Drampa or Zoark or something. Um... There you go. And I showed off Zork as an attacker, which you've probably already seen a million times. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more, more PDC Joe content. Help me hit 3,000 subscribers. I know we can hit 3,000 very, very soon. Hopefully, we can hit it by like April or March of next year. So thanks for watching, guys. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in another PDC Joe video. Have a good night. Have a good day. And goodbye.